World's first 5G HD live streaming on bullet train Beijing Winter Olympics. China is going all out for the Beijing Olympics, presenting a new bullet train designed specifically for the games. The world's first express train with a studio powered by 5G technology has been put into service. Construction on the railway began in 2018, per state linked media outlet CGTN. The Beijing to Zhangjiakou connection was completed in 2019. According to an Associated Press report from 2015, the train line cost a record $9.22 billion to build. Having so much advanced technology brought together on this train and presenting it to the world indicates China's overall strengths in terms of the train systems. Zhu Yan, deputy director of the train's maker, CRRC Changchun Railway Vehicles Co., told the state-linked Global Times on Thursday. On February 4, 2022, the Beijing Olympic Games begin. The country intends to implement a closed-loop bubble in which athletes, officials, broadcasters, and journalists will be restricted to specific areas. With a top speed of 350 km per hour, the Fuxing bullet train is ideal for transporting athletes, journalists, and other staff to and from the upcoming Winter Games. CMG set up a studio on a carriage of the train. In order to connect the three Olympic competition areas of Beijing, Yanking, and Zhangjiakou with the enhanced express train system, the high-speed Beijing to Zhangjiakou rail line was used. Over 170 kilometers of one-way travel will be completed in 56 minutes by the train. In addition, nearly 400 5G base stations have been constructed along the express railway to enable stable signal transmission from the trains. There have been a number of advancements and breakthroughs on the railway. It is the first automated driving in the world to attain a top speed of 350 km per hour. This partnership with CMG will serve as a wonderful example of how we might better combine media and public transit in the future. Chairman of China Railways Liu Dongfu declared as much. According to the state-linked Xinhua News, the train was custom-made for the Beijing Games. It comes outfitted with a 5G-linked broadcast studio from which journalists can broadcast. According to China Railway, there will be 40 pairs of these trains on the fast rail system during the Games and special trains will be set up for the opening ceremony. While addressing guests at CMG's unveiling ceremony on Thursday, Shen Hai Xiong, president of CMG, said that CMG's job and mission as an international mainstream media source, a Chinese national news outlet, and the host broadcaster is to portray the Beijing Winter Olympic stories well. What are the challenges in developing 5G Express? The 5G Express is characterized by its embedded 5G Super HD Studio, which uses complete IP technology and includes three fixed cameras, two landscape cameras on both ends of the train, and a mobile camera. The makeshift studio is primarily used for live interviews. It can also provide virtual production and multi-party connection services for television shows and mobile apps. Streams from the train can be sent in real time to all new studios and digital platforms via the 5G network. According to China Railway, the studio has solved three major technical issues including a significant drop in data transmission caused by the Doppler frequency offset effect while traveling at high speeds. 5G signal loss in carriages and tunnels and rapid switching among more than 400 5G base stations along the express railway. Shen highlighted the difficulty of maintaining reliable and resilient 5G signals in a fast-moving carriage and praised the efforts of related agencies such as China Railway, China Railway Vision Group, China Unicom, China Mobile, and CMG, who pooled resources to see the project through despite the difficult network conditions. If you liked the video, please click on the like button to let others know. It just takes a second, yet it makes a significant difference to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more regular updates.